The Apple Vision Pro is one of the most impressive pieces of tech I've ever used, but it costs as much as a loaded MacBook Pro. Could this thing possibly be worth that amount of money? And what all can you do with it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you 15 everyday uses for the Vision Pro. I bought mine so that I could take advantage of the media side of things and use it as an external display for my laptop. As I've used the Vision Pro more and more, I've seen how useful it could be. This is a first gen product, uh, an expensive first gen product. So there's compromises with this, like a big old battery pack that I had to buy a piece of plastic to be able to clip it on. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But it is incredible and it's only gonna get better. Something to think about if you are gonna get a Vision Pro is that it is really a device that's meant to use as a laptop alternative or an iPad alternative. Where you find yourself using those devices, the Vision Pro could come in handy. It's really not meant to be worn outside and on the go. Now, first one we should talk about with the Vision Pro and one of the best things about it is the media side of things. I know it's hard to justify a $3,500 headset just to watch movies, but with these other uses, you can take advantage of 3D movies, IMAX movies, and just being able to resize and scale any other content that you watch. The Vision Pro is one of the most amazing experiences ever when it comes to video, and a lot of that is because how immersive it is. You have a theater on your face your own theater. Now the downside is it's an empty theater. You can't share your media with other people. I've been really happy in my living room with my 65 inch TV and the surround sound, but that's nothing compared to this. I can have a bigger TV. I could choose to have it closer or farther away. I get that surround sound coming right out of these speakers. And that is another big thing about the Vision Pro is the immersive experience because of these speakers right next to your ear. They really do sound like like a set of AirPods, it gives you a full sound that even my surround sound system doesn't sound like things are wrapping around me like this does. Content's great on the Vision Pro. Uh, it's not really about the highest resolution. You do have 4K screens on each eye, but a lot of the services you're gonna watch are probably limited to 1080p. So really it's being able to create the size you want or lie in bed and put the uh, screen on the ceiling. This device is incredible when it comes to 3D content and IMAX. Now stuff doesn't look like it's popping out off the screen toward you. What it does is it looks like there's a depth, a realism to it that you don't get watching on any other device. In watching Apple's immersive content, you feel like you're in the room and you can look around. You know, I mentioned in one of my other videos about the lady on a high rope between two cliffs and it, it, it made me nervous watching. My hand started sweating because I felt like I was there. This technology is gonna change how we watch media forever. If you'd like to hear more of my experience in using the Vision Pro, I did make a video that I'll put down in the description and at the end of this video that shares with you the five reasons I decided to keep this. Also consider subscribing to check out future Vision Pro videos. Now the next use is music and podcasts. I mentioned that these little speakers sound really good. Good. You can take advantage of that by turning on Apple Music and listening to something in the background or stream from another service using a browser or if they have an app for the Vision Pro. I'm an Apple Music and podcast user, so this works great for me. But if you're using Spotify or some of these other services, you would have to use Safari to stream them. Now, next use for the Vision Pro is taking advantage of the environments. The environments can be great for relaxing and for focusing. You turn on one of these environments and it's relaxing with the sounds of wherever you're at. Environments by themselves can be great for a little quiet time, but the biggest benefit of them is to really enhance that immersive experience. If you're watching content and you have a big screen and you don't have the room you're in in the background, but rather a nice peaceful spot, it's really easy to get caught up in that content. Another big benefit of environments is is that it really helps with focusing on work and other tasks. Once you turn that environment on, you're not gonna look around the room and something distract you from what you're working on. Now on a technical level, the environments I think help a lot in just balancing out the image that you're looking at. So instead of pass through where you may see bright spots, it's having to balance that with the windows you have up. Where environments, you just get that nice evenly lit, 
perfect balanced look. Next use for the Vision Pro is taking advantage of iPad apps. Yes, there are limited Vision Pro apps at this time, but there are quite a few iPad apps that do work with the Vision Pro. And we're gonna see a lot more that become compatible as time goes on. Uh, some examples of the ones I use are uh, Peacock for streaming uh, The Office, one of the best shows ever. I've also uh, played Asphalt 8, which is a racing game. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of iPad apps that don't work with the Vision Pro. There's no Hulu app for this. So for that, I actually use the Safari browser, which leads me into the next use taking advantage of the built-in Safari browser. There's no YouTube app on this. That's okay, I go to youtube.com. Like I mentioned, Hulu. I go to Hulu, open up something while I'm getting some work done and have it playing in a window in the, off to the side. Safari is basically the same as the iPad version. You can have multiple tabs open. You can do a pinch on a window and move it off to its own window so you have multiple Safari windows open. That Safari browser can really open up some other options. Beyond all the media stuff, I look at the Vision Pro like an iPad. An iPad can be used just for consuming media and checking social media, or you could run everything on it for business. When you pair an iPad with a Magic Keyboard or another Bluetooth keyboard, that opens up so much more. The same is true for the Vision Pro. Like an iPad, the Vision Pro becomes much more useful when you pair it up with a keyboard. This is a computer on your face. It has last year's M2 chip in it and an R1 chip that handles all the processing for the cameras and microphones that are used. That leaves the M2 processing power to take care of task. Now you don't have to use Apple's Magic Keyboard. You can pair up other Bluetooth keyboards too. Next is using the Vision Pro for emails. Once you do pair a keyboard up to the Vision Pro, you can take care of all your email stuff on this. You can add other email accounts like Google Mail. You could add AOL onto it, which, yeah. Now you don't need a keyboard at all. You can use the little touch keyboard that pops up or take advantage of voice. Uh, the Vision Pro is definitely a device that voice helps out a lot, especially when it comes to opening up apps. Instead of touching the crown and picking an app, just ask Siri to open it for you. The email experience on this is pretty much the same as any other Apple device. Now next use is to help you stay organized using calendars, notes, and reminders. All three of those apps are like the iPad and iPhone versions. You can open up your notes if you want to look at just the note you're working on. You give it a long squeeze and then open it up in a new window so you can have multiple notes going. I wrote this video using the notes app on the Vision Pro. I wrote it sitting in my favorite chair with the keyboard on the lap and the screen right where I wanted it. I also like to stay organized using uh, the built-in reminders app. I have shared shopping less with my wife and uh, the native calendar app. I like sticking with native apps because it just syncs across everything easily. Now next use for the Vision Pro and a big reason that I bought this is to use as an external screen with my laptop. With the Vision Pro, you can take a supported computer, choose to connect to it, and then the screen will go black and you'll have a floating screen that you can resize, move around where you want. It's not a touch sensitive screen. It's the same as if it were your laptop monitor. I like this feature for certain apps. Uh, I go into more detail in the video I mentioned earlier and the one I put at the end of this one. For, for things with text, uh, it's a little too laggy and you get a little blur. Not a big fan of it for that. But for most apps, it's a great tool. It is nice, you can use native apps at the same time. Uh, you can't do multiple laptop windows, but you could have your laptop up, use the Vision OS uh, Notes app. One of the benefits I found of using it as a virtual display is with the posture. Instead of looking down at a laptop screen, you can have a bigger screen looking straight ahead or sitting in your favorite chair working. Now next use for the Vision Pro is taking advantage of the message app. You have the same messages app that you have across all your other devices. When you get messages, you get a little notification that pops up. The messages app is definitely another app that benefits from uh, having a keyboard or using voice instead of 
used in the little touch keyboard. Next use for the Vision Pro is pictures and video. This is great for taking pictures and video, but even cooler for looking at uh, videos and pictures. One of the things that's great with this is you can record 1080p spatial videos. And what that'll do is it'll use the multiple cameras to uh, be able to tell the depth of objects. And spatial videos are really impressive. There's no way to show you guys, but when playing them back, everything's scaled to the right size. I took a boat ride with my family and it was as if I were there with them again. Now, if you wanna take one of those spatial videos using the Vision Pro, you can uh, touch the button here and that's gonna open up the camera to take a spatial video or photos. The way photos and videos look on this has started to change how I shoot things. Like I mentioned, I was on a boat ride with my family. I took advantage of the spatial video that you can shoot on the iPhone 15 Pro. I also started taking a lot more panorama photos. The reason why is when you open up a panoramic photo on here, you can actually zoom it out and it will wrap around you. And the more of a panoramic photo you took, the farther it'll wrap around you. And this works with old panoramic photos too. Anywhere I go, if it looks cool, I try to uh, take a panoramic photo. Before, those things just looked like flat, warped photos. Now you can see why you take panorama photos. If you do take photos on here and you want to share them with somebody else or you want to move them to one of your other devices, you can uh, select a photo and choose to share it with messages or you can airdrop it. Now another video photo option that you can do with the Vision Pro is screenshots and screen recordings. You can take a screenshot by pressing both buttons. Now if you want to do a screen recording, bring down the control panel and then you're going to want to select recording. An important part though is a long pinch will bring up your sound options. You want to make sure you turn the microphone on. I recorded uh, quite a bit of footage with no audio so it was worthless. So think about that. That screen recording is great for capturing audio and the things you're seeing. So instead of turning on a recording to make a video, just capture everything you're seeing on the screen. You can also cast whatever you're seeing on the screen to Apple TVs and other Apple devices. It's only 720p resolution, but it is uh, good for sharing stuff. Now the next use for the Vision Pro is taking advantage of FaceTime and Zoom. It is pretty cool to open up a Zoom call, put it whatever size window you want, put it where you want, and uh, continue on working with other stuff. Now with the Vision Pro, they do have personas. Uh, they're about 92% accurate uh, with bad hair and are slightly freaky. But if you could get people used to seeing that persona on Zoom or FaceTime calls, especially if you work from home, you don't have to get dressed for work again. You could look horrible and be very comfortable and your coworkers will only see your persona and they'll get used to how creepy it looks. Now this isn't one of the uses, but a big thing to take advantage of on the Vision Pro is using Siri. Navigate by voice. You know, the selecting things with pinching, all that stuff is great, but voice can just speed up the process. I know Siri's not the smartest, but for launching apps and doing other tasks, uh, for responding to messages, you know, all that stuff, take advantage of voice. I'm having to train myself to open up apps instead of pressing the little crown on top and then selecting the app I want or swiping over. Um, I just tell it to open up. Now the next use for the Vision Pro is gaming. Um, gaming like iPad OS gaming and iOS gaming, not gaming like cool console gaming. There is a native app called Fruit Ninja uh, where you chop up fruit and it makes a mess wherever you are. Uh, here's some footage of me playing out in the park. It's kind of crazy. But what's really cool to me, I'm looking forward to seeing more games become compatible. It is being able to play iPad games. I have Asphalt 8. It's a game I've owned forever and I'm able to play it in a park uh, at the size of screen I want. It looks very good and almost like a real screen. And I, one of the things I don't think people, some people realize is that 
Apple is controlling everything that passes through here. So no matter how bright it is outside, they can dim that down and a window can still be bright. So having washed out screens is never an issue. Now the next use for the Vision Pro is something we probably can all take advantage of more. It is the mindfulness app. And the mindfulness app allows you to set a little meditation time. It could be as short as a few minutes minutes and pick one of the instructors and then go through a guided meditation or just go through a meditation by yourself. What they have is this animated leaf-like orb that kind of breathes with you and helps kind of put you in a calming mood. Now this will appear in whatever room you're in, but what I think works much better is turning on one of the environments. It really creates a peaceful experience. When you're done meditating or falling asleep, because it is so relaxing, you can get some work done on the Vision Pro. And again, a keyboard is key and then Take advantage of the native Microsoft Office apps. You have PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and Teams. All of these apps are designed for the Vision Pro. You can have them all opened up around you at the same time. Having those Microsoft apps and other productivity apps can really make this a lot more useful for people. What are your thoughts on the Vision Pro? Do you see it as a more useful device now, or is it still just an overpriced face computer. Let us know in the comment section. Next, make sure to check out this video over here so you can see the five reasons I decided to keep the Vision Pro. I had it packed up and I was going to return it, but these reasons are why I kept it. So I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.